Hey guys, what's up? So to be sure to top it, sure teach fires 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So the first tweak is called CC Power, and this is a control center, quick power tool, supports iOS 11, up to iOS 15. Alright, next week is called Absent Unified version 106.0. So this was just released, um, I think this was released like late December, like December 20th or something. So pretty much this is one of the best tweaks you guys can install. It did add full support for iOS 15 up to iOS 16.2. Um, I think this version is actually by a Chemin a Chemin Deo, but um, it is by Karen, that's the developer of AppSync Unified. Um, you can find it on Cydia.akemi, A K E M I dot A I, that repo. Um, so AppSync it declares all FaceTime apps as originating from the App Store, <clears throat> made multiple improvements to the package installation flow. The UCF user notification now um, now no longer blocks the main thread. So um, yeah, so this is pretty cool. You do a bunch of cool stuff with this. You can install freely distributed apps that are that are unavailable from the App Store without resign me seven days. So pretty much you, know, you can clone and downgrade apps uh, for installed apps. So this person allows you to like downgrade um, clone apps and the big thing is installing apps that are not signed. That's that's pretty much this tweet does right here. And even when you're in Jerboken State, usually like you can still use those apps um, even when like they're not signed. But so yeah, pretty cool. Alright, and this tweet's called AppSync for iOS 4 uh, 4.0. So this is AppSync for iOS 4 only. Alright, and this tweet's called Return YouTube Dislike. And what this tweet does, it pretty much brings back the YouTube dislikes, which I like. I like to see the dislikes. I don't know why they even took it away. I mean, I, I understand kind of why they took it away, but still, I think it was stupid to even take it away. But they took it back. They took the uh, dislikes away back in November 2021. I can't actually believe how long it's been, <clears throat> which made the really ability to see the number of dislikes on the video, which prevents, you know, dislike attacks. That's the whole point of it. But I think it was just stupid. Um, but yeah, this tweet brings that back where you can now see the dislikes on videos. So, find the exact dislike and lights. Alright, next week is called Android 4.x Pattern Lock for Android Lock XT and as a theme Pattern Lock graphics found Android 4.x to Android Lock XT. Alright, next week is called A Font and allows you to change your font. This week is called Quit All and one tweet to quit them all. Alright, next week is called Velvet 2. Now supports iOS 16, so it's full customizable notification experience. Alright, next week is called CFI Tweet Support. And this is a support framework used by Tweet developers. Alright, next week is called Christmas Icons, Christmas Icons for Snowboard. So any device that runs Snowboard for any theme engine. Alright, we have Crane, iOS 11 to 13. So this is Crane for version iOS versions 11 to 13. Pretty much this allows you to um, install so 11 to 13.7. What allows you to do? It's a container management solution that allows you to create multiple uh, containers per application. So you have like different accounts, multiple accounts, easily switch between them on different accounts or I mean different apps or games. So it's like having like you know on two different phones you can start you know have two different versions of the game. You know with this you can do that like easily. So you can switch between different like they call it containers, but it's like different like accounts I would call it for an app or game. So it's pretty cool. You guys can read all about it. And we also have, um, we have the Crane for iOS 14 up. There's also a Crane for Crane Lite. So if you guys want to try it before buying it, um, you guys can. And this supports 14 to 15.7.2, but also is Crane Lite, which is the one if you guys want to use to, you know, it's one application at a time because it's a trial version. But if you guys like it, I would definitely suggest buying the full version. All right, and this week's called AIM, and it's iOS 16 style time and date lock screen. All right, and this week's called um, App Inst, App Inst, which is it's an app store by Karen, same developer that did that uh, made AppSync Unified. This supports iOS 5 up to iOS 16. It's a command line IPA app installer, so it allows you to install IPA packages from the command line. Uh, all right, and last week's card, UPIP enables native picture-in-picture -in, -picture in the YouTube app, Sports Arts 11 and up. So you guys, thanks for watching. Um, also, right here it says, if it's not working, just downgrade YouTube. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.